Uh, first order of business is getting my hair done. Uh, excuse my voice, please. My hair... It's not looking cute. It's feeling very dry, unhealthy. It's lacking a lot of colour. It's just not giving rockstar potential that I feel like I could be serving with my hair. So I'm going to get my hair done at Sammy's. Um, I went to hers for one of my most recent, I think, vlogs where I like went and got my hair dyed. So make sure you watch that because I kind of like tell you a bit more about her business and that sort of thing. That's my first step for my glow up and I cannot wait. has just taken it because she has other priorities and has gone to yard yards but that's fine okay i'm having a really big dilemma you know when you just shower and you look at yourself afterwards and go what's happening that's me right now we're in the intense phase of the glow up if you don't drink rosé get onto it it is so nice icy cold mm. um i had some other things planned for this video to be honest i wanted to do like a full get my eyebrows tinted teeth Oh, I've got teeth pointing upstairs. I'll go get that. Um, I was really, really wanting to go to the sauna, but I'm a bit sick, so I didn't want to like, you know, it's just not it. It's not the place to be. So let's do what we can do. Um, cheers to a Thursday night of glowing up. Um, I watch all of these other YouTube videos and they're so intense, they're glow ups, and that's what I really wanted to so for you guys this time around but maybe if you just stick around a little bit longer you'll get a very intense like a thousand dollar glow up <laughs> can't believe these people spend that much money okay before we get into my tanning process and everything else i've also fully exfoliated and shaved that is such a good feeling about this, eh? Just washing your hair now that it's like semi-dry. Um, I'm just feeling a lot better. First of all, I want to talk about some products that I kindly got gifted from Feather. Feather is a Australian brand that is cruelty and vegan free. And look how cute their products are. Guys, I'm obsessed with it. They have a money back guarantee and all their products are made with love and they smell like it. Let me tell you that. Honestly, just obsessed with a brand that's Australian. I don't know what it is. And when it's vegan and cruelty free, I'm like, sign me up. Oh, oh that smells. Ooh, yummy. I have the clay mask today. I'm just going to be pinning back my little, whatever that is. Um, it's actually a powder mix at the moment and you wet your hands and like put it on. Yay, I can't wait. It says to put a small amount in your hands with water to then add to a foam paste. Apply on your neck face and leave for 10 to 20 minutes before rinsing off with a face cloth. Okay, I'm gonna do a small bit, hopefully. Ah! That was definitely not a small amount. How much like water? I... <laughs> Oops. Okay. There we go, okay. Oh, shut up. Look at this. Oh my God, I didn't. I'm gonna need Kate, I didn't put my hair back. Mom! We're just gonna continue because I haven't got time to wait for Kate, to be honest. I just found this chunk in my hair. Um, guys, definitely make sure you put a bobby pin up before you start playing around the clay mask because it's quite literally gone everywhere. I really need a bobby pin. Kate, where are all of her, I don't know where her, all of her bobby pins are. Like, oh, this is gonna have to do. Oh my God, these are so ancient. This was never really an issue for me. Oh my God, I literally look like a boy. That's disgusting. Okay, this has dried up so quickly. I love the clay mask. Oh my, literally obsessed. 
I love that I literally yelled out to Kate five times and she was no help. Where was she when I had the powder going everywhere? Where was she when I needed my hair to be pinned back? Where was she, you know? Anyway, let's get on to my tanning phase. Um, I used the Uber Dark and this is for fair skin tones. I didn't know that this lasts up to 10 days. I'm gonna put that to the test. So here's me looking pale and crusty and dusty and I'll see you when I'm tanned and glowing. Okay, my tan is all on. Look at this. Look at that bruise that I've got. That is not hot girl shit at all. Don't ask me how it happened, I have no idea. So, I'm feeling very bronzed. Obviously, I can't really show you. I'll show you my legs. They actually turned out pretty good, the color. I mean, look how glowy and bronzed I am. I Okay, I don't know about anyone else, but I bought this um, flawless like face thing that kind of gets rid of like your peach fuzz. I also bought like those blade, the derma blade things, and it was great at the start. Like I really enjoyed it, but now I don't want to use it, and I can't not use it because like obviously hair grows back, and these sort of tools are meant to like minimize the hair. I still use this one like around here a little bit. Um, and like I try not to do it there anymore because I used to and like it just It's a whole issue like I don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of embarrassing But I feel like everyone did that so at least we're all in the same boat But now it was just one of those things like I don't obviously have like <laughs> a mustache like I just have like small little bits of hair and like It's just because I, I didn't I didn't need to do it Should I add this in like it's embarrassing peach fuzz of your hair is like really good to do if you're going to keep it up the maintenance but I'm someone that just shouldn't have done it from the start I kind of don't really use it too often just sometimes if I notice like oh I'm looking like I've got some hairs like I'll like fix it up however if you have started um the dermablading like me this one's from Priceline and it's pretty good um I just honestly if you haven't done it keep it that way because it's just, it's not worth it. I'm not looking great. I know, like, what is even happening here? Um, I've had a flustered morning. You'll find out in my most recent next video. Recent? Pfft, my next video. Um, it's been a morning. So, anyway, let's get into the process of finally glowing up. Because uh, I don't know what's happened this week. First of all, I went to Kmart. Um, I bought some things I didn't need. I bought this pore cleaner. It is effectively gets rid of blackheads, uses vacuum suction to clean oil from pores. It is chargeable and I'm just excited to use it. I hope it has battery because I wanted to show you guys this. I've always wanted one of these. I could just you go get a facial and they use these and it's just like, yes, help me. That's now I can just do it myself, which is great. Okay, turns out I don't need to charge it. I'm going to take off my makeup. Um, so we can use this and test it out with these things if you're meant to put like a serum or something on but let's give it a go Yes Feels like it's sucking all of the shitty food I've been eating ah That hurt Oh my god <laughs> I'm scared. What was that? Okay, that's enough of that. I'm actually running late, so I'm going to use this properly and test it out. Love that, though. I also got 
these <laughs> these bendy rollers I use quite often I do my hair with like a piece of robe or string or something and wrap it around when it's wet and these are like easier little mini ones of this I guess they weirdly remind me of um those lollies you'd get at the canteen that were like the yogurty ones like when I saw these I was kind of like mm, I'm hungry so when my hair's wet I'm assuming I would just like put it like this and then wrap it around like that I don't know I don't really understand like I wish I'd got one that was like a bigger longer one of this this might have been a waste of money I'm not sure I also got a face steamer from Kmart as well I'm not gonna use this yet because I'm Quite literally running out of time I have to be ready within like an hour and I'm not going to be so and I also got a sleeping oil from Kmart as well it was like three bucks really cute cute packaging so I was sold it is lavender and aloe vera um, and you just like put it onto your skin and it helps you sleep at night yeah, that was my little Kmart haul of unnecessary items that I probably didn't need. I do want to talk about an item that I got gifted from Feather as well that I didn't mention earlier because I wanted to save it for my final glow up. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and it is so good. I used it last week and the week before, especially I used it a lot um in bright in the morning so my face was really dry this serum is vegan and cruelty free and it's really good under my foundation sometimes i don't like to put like a thick uh cream on when i know i'm going to be putting layers of makeup on so this is like the perfect little travel size so i'm gonna use this now i'm just gonna use like a little part of it you only need a small bit it's really good it's very um lightweight and easy to spread around like i only did one pump then and it's gone all over my whole entire face i really thoroughly enjoy it definitely go check out the pink clay mask and this hyaluronic acid serum here is a picture of me when i used it before the 10 days and my face is like cleared up a little bit now okay we're gonna move on to my hair now it's quite a wavy 70s vibe it's giving me but i want to curl my hair and like style my bangs a little bit better um so here's a before guys i'm really going on all the rides today i forgot about this it is a nose strip and i've never used one of these so i thought i might as well put it on now while i'm curling my hair oh it comes with heaps of them i thought it only would have been one yes removes blackheads instantly tightens skin's pores and smooths redness and and it prevents oh my god it it prevents blackheads all right, boy, let's do it. Does it go this way? Yeah. Wait, do I, what way do I put it on? This way? Got a shoe? I really hope I don't rip off any skin right before I'm about to go out, so. Do your thing. See when my hair is looking fabulous and I rip this off. Ready to line the stomach. All right, let's rip this off. I don't want to keep it on for too long. Oh yeah, it got like bits, but not not as much as I was hoping, but that's fine, whatever. This is the bit I'm nervous for, my fringe. I'm trying this thing where I use my hair straightener and like, oh, it's really hot and flick it at the bottom. that work okay that looks bouncy enough no it's gonna have to do because I don't really have time so
Okay, makeup is all complete. I am not sure about this necklace though. For my makeup, I don't know if I've gone a bit too overboard with the highlight and blush, but like, oh well. I've popped on these really cute love heart earrings. This necklace, I'm not sure about. I love the cut of this. This is such a nice, like fun, girly dress. I love the spaghetti straps, like yes. The spaghetti straps are giving me life. I love her. It's like a cute little mini moment. My bet shoes as well. These are the best platform shoes to go out in, in my opinion. And they are perfect for like jeans or dresses or skirts. And I've worn the tanned ones of these to death. So excited to give the black ones a whirl. And I've just got this like little cute black bag. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for glowing up with me. If you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to try that face steamer tomorrow when I'm hungover. Like, mm, that's going to be brilliant. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the products that I showed you today, especially Feather. Thank you so much for gifting me those products. I loved using them. The clay mask was 10 out of 10. Loved testing them out and reviewing them. Definitely go check it out. I'll have it linked down below. If you're new to my channel, obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye!